you were always the same guy. Like even in the NBA, like off air, my son asked you who you hated, but I would I can't imagine you hated anybody. You were always very gregarious. You were always the life of the party. And so I, I don't I just I don't see like where this dark because the book deals mm -hmm. with some fairly dark stuff. Right. So where did that because that, that that didn't manifest itself mm -hmm. in the way you acted. Well, you know what? Being reckless when I had the accident back in uh, 2000 when a limousine driver, Mr. Christoffi, yeah. was shot and killed in my house by me. Right. Showing shotguns that changed my life. Obviously, it changed mm -hmm. his life. Um, that put me to a point right there, DL, that, you know, put me in a hole because any time I tried to have fun or do something, I always remember that I took something from a man who was never going to be able to have anything. I took his future. You know, he was just in prison. He got better. I never met him before. I had to invite him to dinner. And then uh, we had a bunch of people at my house, and instead of showing my Picassos, I'm showing shotguns. And they didn't never see the man in the house, never saw Mr. Gustafi. I'm showing it. Somebody had left a shell in the gun. The gun closed while I was showing all these shotguns. It hit him in the chest and killed him. Mm -hmm. um, that is something that I worked so hard uh, trying to deflect. Um, when you say deflect. Deflect that I just worked out. You know uh, you know what I do. I'm at my treatment center. I'm at a treatment center down uh in Florida, right. you know, Futures Health Recovery for treatment. Right. And I work all day long, seven days a week, helping people beat their addiction. I finally found something that I'm passionate. Basketball was good, but I wasn't as passionate as I am what I am now. Well, and so I, you think the incident, um, which obviously is life changing, yeah. shaped your path for the rest of for the rest of your life, right? Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I found something I can do really well, and that's helping other people get better. Um, and I deflect that way. I'm a robot. I wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I go to the gym from 4 to 6. Then I go to work, and I'm at work from 6 to 8. And I love what I do, uh, helping people beat their addiction, their anxiety, their depression, their overeating, their gambling, their sex addiction. And then I go back home, and I go to bed. Um, and I got to work on that uh, for forgiving myself. I'm not here for any empathy from you guys. That's something that could have been avoided. I didn't go to jail because of the accident. I went to jail because I was a coward. When the shotgun went off, I panicked and ran, jumped in a swimming pool. If I had to do it all over again, and I was around the right people, right? And that's, you know, and, and they would have said, Jay, it's an accident, just stop. And I take full responsibility. It's something I got to live with my whole life. And that's why you don't see me out doing a lot of stuff. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't think that uh, I felt safe here around people that look like me and, uh, and that I can help people uh, come you down. You think that, because uh, I, I remember. Um, I remember when it happened, right? And I remember, um, obviously the media coverage. I think it was right. obviously sensational because it had all the elements: mm -hmm. had wealth and a black athlete and guns. And uh, um, I, I don't. I'm not saying this just because you're here, but I always, you always seem like a big kid to me. Mm -hmm. And I, the one, and I, and I don't normally do this because I think that you know I, I don't pretend to know people, but I, but I say that um, you seem like a big kid who panicked, and it really did change. And so what you're saying right now is what I've always assessed the situation to be. But what I see in you now is genuine remorse. And and that is something that's rare, where somebody doesn't try to make excuses, somebody doesn't try to say this is what happened. To say flatly, I took somebody's life, I'm responsible for it, and I will do what I can to make amends for it. It takes, maybe you, in your words you were a coward then, but what you're doing right now is one of the bravest things I think any human being can do, and that's to accept responsibility. So that makes me proud of you. I'm mean, obviously, you, 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 and I think you should forgive yourself because I think, uh, if you were somebody who wasn't doing the work, then that would be a different thing. But you made a mistake, and that's horrible. And I, and, and I obviously, I don't speak for his family, but uh, you're the same humane human being I used to see all the time. And I and I feel bad that you feel this way, and I feel bad that your life unfolded this way. But if it took all that to get to this, then maybe it was a journey worth having. 